Hello everybody, Bubble Zest here, and this is Hearts of Iron 4. You know, I've been thinking, it's been several months now since By Blood Alone came out, and I've still not done a Switzerland video. And I'm not entirely sure why. So, in today's video, we're going to be playing as Switzerland, and we're going to try and figure out what about this nation just doesn't click for me. So, let's do Swiss Guiding Principles, go up to speed 5, and begin. And with that, now begins the balance of power. And I won't lie to you, I'm not the biggest fan of the balance of power, especially with Switzerland. The main thing with this is, all we have to do is go to full council control and make sure we don't trip ourselves up along the way. I get why people like the balance of power, I just, it just doesn't click with me. A comparison I've thought of is the Soviet Union and Stalin's paranoia. Yeah, they're kind of similar. But, Stalin's paranoia is kind of backgrounded, you don't have to focus on it as much. But for Switzerland, the balance of power is a lot of their game. Anyway, what should we do today? Uh, let's do the third option. And follow that up with National Defence Fund. I like this at least, free sieves and minus 5% consumer goods. Can't complain about that. And now we have the elections for the President of the Confederation. This is alright, it's a neat detail. This time, I think it should be Albert. And let's replace him with a communist. Hans, you'll do. Anyway, now let's strengthen the military high command. The easiest way to centralise power. Hmm. Let's just have a fair trial today. If you go for the bottom option, it will finish a lot faster, but you'll lose some democratic support, which can be kind of annoying, especially for the tree that we're doing. Which is fair enough. I get the idea for Switzerland's focus tree is that you have to make decisions, and there are consequences for what you do. Next up, let's reaffirm spiritual defense. Interesting focus, actually. It does get more powerful when you w work with it. It sounds a lot worse than it actually is. Hmm, three borders to unify. Uh, let's do Italy. Our border with them is actually quite small. Now let's ban foreign propaganda. Last thing we wanted to let FB support get too high. Oh yeah, here's absolute neutrality. I get it, but this is actually relatively easy to deal with. All you have to do is like improve relations and just pay attention to what the focuses are doing. Like this, giving us minus 30 relations. Anyway, on neutrality now. Look at those buffs. I mean, that's almost like partial mode for free, isn't it? Now it's time for the Frontier Defense Plan. I actually kind of like this because of Jacob Huber. He is one of the strongest chief of armies in the game. He starts with 0.4 XP a day, but because of his additional trait, he actually comes with 0.44. And if you combine that with Professional Officer Core, he can give you 0.48 XP a day. That is ridiculously strong. When it comes to the rest of the focuses in this tree, they're alright. Ones like Fight to the Death, fine. But you can completely ignore them if you want to. And yes, here are the Citizen Militias. If I'm honest, the only thing I've really noticed and been able to do with them is do a council speech and then do a show of defensive force. But to be honest, I don't really have to. All I'd have to do is improve relations and get the same effect. And with the actual militias themselves, sure the recruitable population is nice, but the actual divisions themselves, eh, they're not that good. With them, the main thing I've done is just professionalise the militias and be done with it. Oh, I'm sure there are some specific uses you can find for them, it's just... It's like the Mahal Safari for Ethiopia. You just want to get them out of the way and never notice them again. Okay, allied gold now. And let's hire Huber. And the got husband. I do appreciate just how short these focuses are. If they were all 70 days, that would be really annoying. Push for centralization isn't really worth it, is it? Minus 30 stab for 40, but strength and military high command gives 30 and no stab loss. Why wouldn't you do that? Hmm, another election. 
Yeah, I knew this was going to bite me. And now I don't have enough political power for another councillor. Which isn't so annoying, apart from them actually fixing no confederation councillor. Oh well, it's a uh, minor problem. Alright. Can't press for Volaberg, it's a bit too soon. So instead, uh, let's increase that defence budget. Oh look, it's Senor Hilter. Finally, let's press for Volaberg. The sensible thing at this point would be to replace Rudolph with someone else, wouldn't it? Right, who should we put in this time? A uh, socialist pacifist. What that? Oh well, we're getting 158 PP a day, so it's not a massive downside for us. Very good. Anyway, we're in no position to preempt Anschluss, that's okay. Hmm. What should we do? I think I might just hold focus for a little while. Kind of need the political power anyway. I feel like consolidating council power will be the right move. Although we could also have this town council diplomatic effort, I suppose. Very well, I guess I should do the diplo effort. Yeah, in hindsight, it's pretty clear I could have done literally any other focus in this moment. Or I should have just done both of them. Oh well, enough distractions, let's preempt Angelus. The only thing that's kind of disappointing about this is that you don't get Austria's generals like you do for Germany. I know, that's not the most mild detail ever, but it does kind of annoy me. And to no one's surprise, Austria is joining us. Now let's deal with our militias, shall we? Switzerland on the offensive, which will professionalise them. Oh sure, we lose 7.5% recruitable pop, but we can actually have an army. I'd call that a fair trade. And with that focus done as well, the balance of power is now honestly irrelevant. Sure, it'll go to full council control, but we don't really have to focus on it at this point. All of that put into the balance of power, and when it's all said and done, barely lasted a year and a half. No surprise, this annoys our people. So, let's have an eye on them with the Federal Police Intelligence Department. Anyway, we can actually now work with our army. But in a kind of ironic thing, what I'm actually going to do is make our citizen militias really cheap. There we go, save. And now we'll train up as many of these as we can afford. 101, alright. We're just going to start spamming these out. Because the AI will be much more likely to accept these demand focuses if our army is absolutely huge. And it doesn't matter if these are two whips, the AI sees them all the same. What's funny is that Paradox recently changed these so the AI is less likely to accept them. Although from all of my games, not much has actually changed. Another election, eh? Eh, Bauman, you can go. And who should be our next councillor? Hmm, let's go for this nationalistic industrialist. Seems interesting enough. And he gives support for non aligned, which in turn decreases support for the National Assembly. Speaking of non aligned support, let's do Protect Liechtenstein. The only reason you'd ever do this is because of the 1% non aligned support it gives. Okay, before we start demanding the Alps, let's do the Alpine Redoubt. Just may as well have it out of the way. And I know, if I actually did it after I demanded the Alps, it'd be more effective. But that's not what I'm going for anyway. But I am aware of it. Hmm, which should we demand first? I know, the Italians. Come on, Mussolini. You know you want to hand them over. It's just a casual 303 divisions, nothing to see here. Very good. I don't know how Mussolini would ever justify this, but I'm not one to argue with results. Now France, you should be sensible too. Very good. At least you see some sense, Bloom. Now while we could do the Alpine Protectorate, I am not ready for that, so let's do a Swiss Navy. Although of course most other people at this point would probably do it, and that is fair enough. This focus tree is just such a power creep focus tree, isn't it? 
like Switzerland somehow demanding the Alps of France and Italy and they say yes. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't need these militias anymore. So let's disband them. Yeah, that's a lot of equipment back. Don't really need to spam out guns as much anymore. Let's build artillery and support equipment now. We can actually begin to get an army. Should we buy foreign ships? Oh, why not? It's mostly destroyers and subs, but they're mostly free. So why not? Hmm. President for this year? I think it should be Mr. Grimm. And let's replace him on the council with Mr. Führer. There he is. Okay, alright, I've put it off enough. Let's do the Alpine Protectorate and make Mr. Grimm our leader. Look, I know that the meta is to put Führer as the leader, and that's fair enough, I get why he is, but it doesn't matter that much. And hey, I don't know that many people who actually did Communist Switzerland. At least it's easier to go Communist as Switzerland compared to going Democratic as Russia. And there we go, the Alpine Protectorate. With the man with the very big bow tie, Robert Grimm. Yeah, at least we can actually fire our advisors now. Although it is funny, we just have so many of them. But if I'm honest, I think that's all. Because I can actually come to a conclusion of why I haven't done Switzerland. I don't hate this focus tree, but I don't like it either. Oh sure, at this point we could build up and try to defend against Germany and all of that. But at this point we'd lose. We'd have to do several more years of prep before we'd be in any state to fight. And at that point it'd just be rushed down Italy, rushed down Germany and that's the end of it. I should also mention that I don't actually like fighting Germany that much. And when you consider that Switzerland's main enemy is Germany, it doesn't make me that enthusiastic about playing them. I haven't done Switzerland because it's just not what I'm looking for. I just don't feel any impetus to play Switzerland. Because once I've done a one like this once, I feel like I don't need to play them again. With most other countries like France, UK, Spain, the Soviet Union, I feel like there's a lot of replayability with them. Oh sure you've got the achievements Switzerland has, but that's just an extra run or two. So if any of you are wondering why I haven't done something like fascist Switzerland, or the Second Helvetic Republic, here's why. I just don't really care. I don't have anything to say. And depending on your point of view, that might be worse. And before anyone says it, no, I don't really care that Paradox made a Swiss focus tree. Sure, you can make arguments that there are better candidates like Belgium and Finland, but I'd rather have Paradox make a focus tree when they have a good idea for a focus tree, rather than forcing themselves to make one when they don't. However, when it comes to this focus tree, it just is for me. Not good, not bad, just is, and I don't have much more to say about it.